If you want to be able to access your files from anywhere and share with anyone with internet connection, including this workbook here, then go back stage file down to save as and select OneDrive. And there you go. You can use this to access your files from anywhere and share with anyone. So you got this little cute diagram here, this cloud that means, hey, it's somewhere out there where you can store everything that you upload either from your mobile devices, laptop, or desktop. Actually, it's just a computer that Microsoft owns called a server at some undisclosed location that you can load up to and then when you want, log from some other device and be able to retrieve it. In any case, to be able to access this, you need to sign up for it. So if you haven't done so, get a Microsoft account by clicking on Sign Up and then go ahead and click on sign up for free. You can do it with a personal account or a business. Now if you go for a business, you have plans and pricing. So we'll select create a Microsoft account here for the OneDrive. Well, before you type in an email address and a password to create the account, plus anything else that they want from you, you may want to go ahead and read the Microsoft Service Agreements Privacy and Cookie Statement. So that way you're okay with what they're going to do with your information that you store on their server. And if you're okay with that, and after you go ahead and sign up for it, then go ahead and go back to Excel. Same place. This time, go ahead and click on Sign In. Type in the email address that you provided for the Microsoft account, then click Next or hit Enter. Then the password, then hit Enter, and we're logged in. How do you know? Well, you can look up here on the title bar area. You got a bunch of lines and arrows. It's all over the place saying, hey, we're connected throughout the universe, as it were. And you can see that you've got your name that I'm signed in. And so once you're signed in, then go back to the OneDrive and then come over here and click on Documents. Opens up the Documents folder on the OneDrive. You can see there's the OneDrive address in the Documents folder. And it looks like we already have this uploaded, OneDrive Sharing. We can go ahead and call this OneDrive Sharing 2 or just something else altogether. Rename it, call it My Spiffy Sales Workbook. And then when you're done, go ahead and click Save. Uploads it to the OneDrive. And then any changes you make in here, like 100, hit Enter, click Save, it overwrites it on the OneDrive. And then when you're done, you can just go ahead and close out or you can sign out. Now, during this logging in process, it may, after you go ahead and save it to the OneDrive, take it to the front stage view and open up a window if you want to share this with others. In fact, if you just come up here and click on the Share tab, opens it up and it says, Hey, who do you want to invite? Well, I'd like to invite a lot of people. If you have some contacts in your Microsoft Outlook, go ahead and click on the address book and you can go ahead and double click to add them down below, their email addresses, click okie dokie. And then you got two options when you send it off to them. They can either edit it or view it. And to get more nitty gritty about this, let me go ahead and open up Internet Explorer and go to the Share OneDrive Files and Folders, the website here. And when you scroll down, it shows you how to go ahead and, there we go, can view or can edit. And it goes over what it means if you allow people to view it. They can view, download, or copy the files you share, edit. And it says if you choose can edit or if you pick can edit, in any case, they can go ahead and make changes to it. And if it's to a folder, they can delete or edit anything within that folder. But right now we're just sharing our Excel workbook, my spiffy sales workbook, that is. And one thing you need to keep in mind is that whether you choose can view or can edit, that when you send it off to somebody, that they can go ahead and forward that link onto anybody else. And they can go ahead and access it as well. So it's not exclusionary where you send it to one person and only they get access to it. Well, as long as you don't share with anybody else, nobody else has access to it. So keep that in mind. Let me go ahead and close out. And then choose what you like, can edit. In fact, if you want, you don't have an address book, you can just go ahead and delete it and type in their email address. And there you go. Well, she's in my address book, so she's going to pull up from my Microsoft Outlook installed on the computer here. In any case, you can go ahead and type in their full email address if it doesn't pull up anything. If it does, you can go ahead and click on it and then say you can view and then include a message if you want saying, hey, please take a look at this and let me know what you think. And then when you're done, go ahead and click share. It'll send her an email to invite her and you can see down below, it's a can view. You can go ahead and right click on it and remove the user or change permissions to can edit at any point. In fact, if you close out of here and you're like, oh, 
how is this document being shared or is it being shared? Go ahead and click on the share tab. Opens it back up and then it lets you know, hey, you're the owner and this is who you're sharing with. Now you can do it that way or you can come down below and click on get a sharing link. Click on it. And you can create an edit link. Anyone with this link can edit the document you share. Or a view link only. Anyone with this link can see the documents you share but not edit them. So if you want to edit, if not edit, in any case it's a link that you can click on. It generates it. Go ahead and click on copy. And then after you copy, you can go ahead and well, share it on Facebook or paste it somewhere if you want to be able to have that available for people to click on. In any case, when you click back and you go to the beginning here, then you can see it's with Carrie and, and anyone that they can view this link. You can right click on it, disable the link, or copy the link. You can also publish it to docs.com if you want to go a little bit more in depth and detail there. In any case, we'll keep it simple. And then when you're done, let's go ahead and close out. We can come back up here, up in the title bar area where it says Curtis signed in, click on it. Go down to account settings and say sign out. It gives you a big huge warning that says, hey, if you do this, then you're signing out from this and other office applications. It will remove all customizations. And your documents and notebooks may not sync to the server until you sign back in. Well, they can't sync if they're not signed in. All open office applications must be closed for the sign out to be complete. Do you want to sign out? Yes. So we're signed out. We no longer have the lines up at the top here and it asks us to sign in again. In any case, let's go ahead and close out of that. And if you want to access the OneDrive on the road and you don't have a computer that you can go ahead and log in, like through one of the office applications like Excel, just go ahead and open up Internet Explorer and go right to Sky, there you go, SkyDrive. Just type it in like you see it there, skydrive.live.com, hit enter. The same place where we went to sign up for free, you can go ahead and click on sign in. Type in your email address for the Microsoft account, click next. And then of course your password, go ahead and hit enter to sign in. And that's what it looks like. Here's the documents folder where we save the documents to. Go ahead and click on it to take a look inside and hey there we go there's my spiffy sales and you can view your documents by tiles and the purpose of a tile is that if you have a touch screen that you can go ahead and tap it with your finger that's why they're yay big or you can come up here and click on the choice option to go from tiles to list now it just has a list here so it's not really finger friendly you can use your mouse to be able to click on it in any case we'll go back to tiles no, the other option is photos. In any case, there's my spiffy sales. When you hover over it, you get the option to check it, to select it, and with it selected, you get the options up above. That you can share this if you want to share it with others, and also select additional documents. So between the two, we can go ahead and share them both, download them, delete them, move them to, or copy to another place on the OneDrive. I'll go ahead and unselect that. You can also right click on it and get the same options in addition to other options the least of which is the details so if I want to be able to find out who I'm sharing with over here in the detail pane you can see that it's Carrie Heffernan and anyone who has this link can view the item now if I don't want that then we can go ahead and close out and say you want to remove this link then anybody who has the link can no longer view it and then you can change from Carrie Heffernan from can view to allow to edit or even stop sharing in which case she has the link that was sent to her via email when she clicks on it it doesn't allow her access to it but then again if you want to add people it's right there go ahead and click on add now you're going to get the same options as I just showed you when you're trying to share it through the application itself Microsoft Excel however by default it says anyone with this link can edit this item well if you don't want them to edit it you just want them to view it then click on it to uncheck allow editing then you can go ahead and generate a link that you can send to them just allows them to view it or send them an email you can click on more and then you can go ahead and get the link and paste it in Facebook Twitter LinkedIn or Sina Weibo if I'm pronouncing that correctly in any case go ahead and get a link click on it generates a link you can copy and then paste it in Facebook or Twitter which doesn't allow editing or you can go ahead and click on email Type in the email address, a message about, hey, I want your thoughts on my spiffy sales. Then click share, sends them the email with the link that they can then go ahead and click on and opens it up and they can do whatever they need to do. 
And when you do bring up the details for any one of these tiles here, the documents you've uploaded, like you can right click of course on it to bring up the details or if you just want to hover over it and check it, you can come up here in the upper right hand corner and click on the I for informational which brings up the details pane and you can deselect it to close it. So you can do it that way or right click again to details. Right click again to go down to details or click on the I. So either way it will open and close. Now to see what it looks like on the other end, the receiving end, when somebody sends us an invite to either view and or edit their documents from the OneDrive. Let's go ahead and close out of here and I want to open up Outlook 2016, which by the way if you don't know anything about it, you can watch my Outlook training video on it. It's basically an email program. Let's go ahead and click OK to open it up. Not only does it send and receive emails, as you just saw here from Kerry, but it also has calendars, contacts, tasks, notes, a lot of fun things. But we're just going to focus on the email, the invite we got from Kerry Heffernan. Double click to open it up. And you can see it says, hey, please take a look and let me know what you think. Oh, what's this? Oh, let me just go ahead and willy-nilly click on any link. Well, you want to make sure you trust the person. Go ahead and click on it takes me to the OneDrive and it opens up Excel. Hey, great! And she wants me to review it. These are the cells that she made. Cool. I can go ahead and edit it in the browser if I'd like. Click on Edit in Browser. So she allowed me the Edit option. So with the Edit in the Browser option, we're kind of limited to some of the features. It's a dummy down version of the full Excel install. So I get some of the quick options to do some editing, formatting. I can make changes to it and say, no, 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 the price is not 80 cents, it's 0 0.7, hit enter. And if the tools I'm looking for, to be able to work it more in detail, it's not available in the Excel online, then I can come over here and click on Edit in Excel. So if you have Excel installed on your computer, okay, now it wants me to sign in with my own account to be able to download it to the Excel program installed on my computer so I can get the full functionality of Excel and not the watered-down version of Excel online. But again, it's a great thing because if you don't have Excel installed on your computer and you're out on the road somewhere, at least you can do the basics. So, and then once I sign in, it says, are you sure you trust this? Of course I do. Some files contain viruses. Are you sure you still want to trust us? Yes. Opens up the Excel program on my computer. There we go. And then it gives me a warning. It says, be careful. Files from the internet can contain viruses. Unless you need to edit it, it's safer to stay in protected view. Okay, I'll click on Enable Editing. Because I trust Carrie. So then I can go ahead and get the full functionality of the Excel program installed on my computer, not Excel Online. Any changes I make here, 0 0.8, and click Save. It uploads it. I don't know if you saw that. You may want to rewind the video. But down the status bar, it says uploading here back to the OneDrive. And then when you're done, go ahead and close out. That was nice. And then if you ever run into a blockage issue, like you cannot view it or edit this anymore, for example, let me go ahead and close out of here. And I click on the link again. And after I log in, oh, the item might not exist or is no longer available. So she either deleted it or she blocked me no longer can view it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.